Netflix's Nurse Ratchet is rumored to be one of the biggest producer deals in the TV history. The show is the adaptation of Ken Kesey's novel, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. The story revolves around Mildred Ratchet and offers a deep insight into what makes people what they are because man is not evil or corrupt by nature. Man is born innocent. His brain is like a clean, transparent slate. It is the life and its experiences which determine his fate. Similarly, Ratcheted was also an innocent baby, but unfortunately the cruel life got the best of her. Netflix's Ratcheted aims to take the audience to delve deeper into the Ratcheted's early life because there's more to her story than what meets the eyes. Primarily, the show is a prequel which endeavors to demonstrate what makes Ratchet Ratchet. Why and how does she become an infamous hag that she is stereotyped to be? Nurse Ratchet's posture, resoluteness, and iciness make her one of the most iconic characters of her kind. There is a vibe about her which reminds us of Shakespeare's immortal Lady Macbeth, and if you ruminate a little over the subject, you will notice that the two ladies do share the same vibe. Ruthless Ratchet's nickname, Big Nurse, sounds very manly, and she does not seem to have that particular feminine gentleness. Similarly, Lady Macbeth prays to the spirits to take away her feminine extinct and unsex her. Ratchet is the modern Lady Macbeth. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here, and fill me from the crown to the toe top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood. Ratchet seems more of an old evil man. Her decisiveness, her determination, in fact just her demeanor is enough to make audiences blood run cold. She does not have to do much effort. There is an air about her which makes her terribly frightening. Drawing a metaphor of an old man is not far-fetched because she is wise, experienced, and ruthless like an old evil man who pretends he has traveled to the edge of the world and nothing has skipped his small engulfing eyes. But of course, there's always another side to a story. Like mentioned before, people are not born evil or monstrous. Their experiences in life decide and shape the rest of their life. And yes, Ratchet did not enjoy a normal earlier life. All the iconic villainous creatures in the literature had reason for their ruthlessness. Let's take, for example, Medusa. We all know her as a lady with a snake head who stones people if they look into her eyes. But Medusa was not born with a snake head. She was born a beautiful and innocent child. When she grew up, she was beautiful of all. But then why did she choose the path of evil and left virtue behind? She did not show mercy to anybody because she was shown none. Believe me when I tell you she was raped by Poseidon and such was the state of justice that Athena, the goddess, punished her instead of bringing filth to her sacred temple because this is the place where she was raped. Athena cursed her and turned her head into snakes. So Nurse Ratchet also has a backstory which is very significant if we want to know her more clearly and closely. And Netflix brings us that. 45-year-old Sarah Paulson brings to life the old Nurse Ratchet again to entertain the audience as well as to the unsaid. Kesey's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is one of the best English novels. It was written in 1962, but even today it does not fail to excite readers and people's feelings whenever her name is mentioned. Such is the universality of her character, or most probably the mad genius of the writer to come with something so engrossing which has transcended the boundaries of time and space, and entertains people even today after so many years of its creation. The novel's splendor was such that it had been adopted into not only film and TV, but also into the Broadway. In fact, it was first adopted to Broadway by Dale Wasserman, and later into a film by Milos Forman, and finally into a Netflix show for live streamers by Ryan Murphy and Evan Romansky. In the 1975 film by Milos Forman, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, is considered to be one of the best American films. In fact, the film has the honor of being the first movie after It Happened One Night for winning five Academy Awards. The film won awards for Best Lead Actor and Actress, Direction, Picture, and Screenplay. Even on Netflix, the show is doing really well. People's fascination with the iconic character does not seem to fade. In truth, 
They want to see more of her, and Netflix has excellently met the viewer's expectation by airing her backstory, providing audience a sneak peek into her past life. Now, we will try to uncover why people are so eager to know more about Nurse Ratchet, why their fascination with the character keeps on escalating with time, when in reality, it should decline with passing tide of time. Seems like Ratchet has changed the concept of time. People come and go, but she's always there. There's a very simple reason for that. Nurse Ratchet is forever living because she is original. She is not just the writer's imagination, she is a real person. All blood and flesh like us. She's a living lady who inspired the writer to imitate her in his writing. Don't be scared, of course she's dead now. The novel was published in 1962. She is dead long ago, not to be found in her grave even. But you can see her on the big screen. Isn't it ironic? Let's delve deep into the matter. The reason real life Ratchet seems so real, compelling, and captivating is that it is actually inspired by a real life person. Ken Kesey, the author of the original book, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. After completing his graduation, started working as a night attendant in a psychiatric ward of a Californian hospital, where the head nurse of the ward inspired Keezy's to create one of the most iconic characters of literature written, as well as unaired. The writer depicted herself in the book as cold, heartless tyrant. Keezy's experiences in the hospital inspired him to come up with such a story and such an enthralling character. The events portrayed in the books, as well as in the show, are the account of Keezy's personal experience while working in the psychiatric ward. So this takes us to the conclusion that Nurse Ratchet is not some trendy and fabricated adult fictional character which will lose charm after a few years. Another interesting thing to ponder upon is Nurse Ratchet is not just some frightening stereotypical nurse, but in the border perspective, the critique classify her as one of the most remarkable villains or antagonists. Her legacy is like that of Medusa's, only she does not have snakes on her head. But she does have very captivating eyes which do not stone or freeze the audience literally, but suspension of disbelief does make the viewers feel as if they are stiffed to their chairs.